guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Animated Menu. So this is a really awesome plugin that you can download for free and it allows you to create your own GUIs. So there is so much you can do with this plugin. You can have the GUI open when you right click um, a specific item. So here I have a few examples. We have the admin menu which I created uh, a few minutes ago and we have different things so we can set it to night and as you can see the blocks are changing color every few seconds and so is the color of the text and as you can see you can select whatever block you want whatever law you want really really cool and you can do lots of different things with it we then have another menu this is one of the examples one if you download placeholder API you can um, get lots of placeholders which is pretty cool I didn't download that but you can and as you can see the law is also changing so you can do so much with this plugin so the main command is animated menu and through this we can open a specific menu such as shop so you could uh, make lots of shops for people to buy various things we have uh, obviously admin the one I created like that so you can open it two ways and you can get the item for um, each menu so admin there we go so that is how you use the in-game commands really simple you can obviously reload the config if you create a new menu or edit something so we are going to have a look at the uh, config files create our own menu and then have a look in-game at what it looks like so here we are in the animated menu folder and as you can see there is the menus folder and the config file there isn't too much in here but if you want something like ping related uh, placeholders you can specify remote connections in here um, but you would have to remove the hashtag or pound sign to allow it to be read but uh, we are going to swiftly move on to the main part which is the menus and these two are the ones that are created by default I created this earlier uh, let's have a quick look at the one I created so we have lots of information about the menu so obviously the sound the sound pitch how many rows it has the names the laws what item it uses to open it down here we have various frame delay so it changes the law it changes uh, the material there is so much you can do with it it's really cool and obviously the command it performs or multiple commands you can do that as well and permissions so that is the first one example this is created by default looks slightly different as you can do various things with it um, and finally the shot let's quickly look at this before we create our own this is very simple doesn't have any of the green writing it uh, shows you the menu name the items and the commands so you can set up either a left or right click or a shift click which is pretty cool as well so let's go ahead and copy and paste the admin um, file and let's go ahead and rename it to let's call it YT and let's make it do something I'm not too sure what it's going to do at the moment but uh, let's go ahead and change the menu name so if we go into the shop um, .yml, you can see it's different to this one so this is a static name doesn't do anything it's just whatever color you set however this one has multiple colors so um, you can make it animated which is really cool let me go ahead and delete that pop these in here and we are going to call it uh, yt menu um, and it's going to perform a command not really too sure yet but we'll make it up as we go along so let's set a few colors there and make it look nice and jazzy you can add more obviously you could set as many of these as you want so it changes color uh, that should be a three and the next one four changes to a nine and know, a one so uh, it's pretty straightforward how you do that we are going to select um, iron hyphen block as the menu opener we can rename it to anything we want so I'm going to do this very very quickly and K law that's fine pitch so one if you don't know what it does but we are going to change the pitch to five rows let's set six rows make it quite big and the command to open it uh, you don't have to set this but you can so this is going to be YT menu and the items so in slot one is going to be um, test uh, like that the material is going to be leaves and the delay between between frames so obviously 20 ticks is one second 
let's set that to 40, so that'll be 2 seconds. And the commands, let's just uh, set this to weather, rain, 100. That'll be fine. And obviously you can change the law, pretty straightforward. Um, you can make as many of these as you want, but uh, that is fine. Don't want to make this tutorial too long, as, it all, as it's very repetitive. Then we have uh, the next slot, which obviously sets the day. We have various materials, so uh, this is pretty cool. You have the wool, you have the amount, and then you have the metadata. So one is orange, I think. So what we could do is uh, change the middle value, which is the amount. So this would be a stack of two, three, a stack of four, and so on. So let's just do this to show you it actually works. Really cool that you can do this. Uh, scroll down a bit more. You can download the Player Points plugin and have that integrated if you use that at all. And if we scroll down a bit more, I use stained glass as well down here, just uh, just as an example. And obviously you can change all the things about this as well. You can obviously delete, uh, for example, permissions if you don't want that, or player points. You can just get rid of it and it will still work. So um, that is the YT menu. I hope it works. Make sure you change the correct things. That's right. Uh, it should work, hopefully. So I've got Minecraft open here. We are going to do animated menu reload. It's loaded four menus and hopefully um, it should work. So we are going to grab the item for, it's just called YT. There we go. So we've got um, an iron block. And as you can see up here, and K obviously makes it squiggledy, which is why you can't actually see it. If we right click, it actually worked, which I'm pleased about. And uh, you can see the leaves, that works. And that will set the weather to sun, apparently, even if I wrote rain. Uh, why did it do that? I'm not sure. That's probably not the correct command. But uh, weather, is it storm? I think it is storm, actually. Um, I think it's pretty sure it's storm. Uh, weather to storm. There we go. So that will make it rain. And then we obviously have the stack of five, six, seven increasing, which is really cool. And the color is changing as well. So that is how you customize it. Really cool plugin. Obviously you can download it for free off of Spigot. Hopefully this has helped. I've covered everything in this plugin. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.